Hi, I'm Balin Forcier, and you're watching Last Friday here on RBA TV, and I'm here with Sean Taylor. Three things about my paintings. One is that it be beautiful and well constructed and well painted. So, sort of beauty. And the second is uh, that it have like a complex narrative. And the third is that there's something pink in it. <laughs> or phallic. I construct all the, the panels from scratch. Uh, and a, the presence of the, of the work is important to me, that it, that it has a, a chunkiness to it. And they're put together in sections. And that seems to be important to me, but, uh, taking apart reality, I like to deconstruct the sort of the image. I guess I'm uh, political, but I'm not, uh, I'm not in your face with it. It's more of a, it's like a passive, passiveness to it. I mean, personally, I have my own personal views. When it comes to the paintings, they seem to get, I seem to soften it. Um, especially with the coloring, like you see some pinks and some uh, pastel sort of colors mixed in with these sort of stark military uh, figures. I'm looking, I was looking for something that represents the USA, but the weird side, you know, the strangeness of, of the USA and roller derby, I think fits that definition somehow. It's a weird sport. I don't think they play it anywhere else. Yeah, so that is like my Hollywood headshot uh, of myself. It's all about narcissism and, uh, you know, youth. I'm here with Nikki Akbar, and we're talking about her uh, beautiful block printed textiles. It's hand block printing. So it's totally everything is hand. Even blocks are made by hand. Do you uh, make the blocks yourself? Uh, no. We, I know how to make it, but it's like a, such a hectic. And we do design. We make design, and then we head over there who are design, um, a block maker. It's not very easy process when you're just printing it all the time, your hand then used to it because uh, in the beginning you feel very, <laughs> you have all these kind of uh, pains in your hand. How did you first get started in doing this? Actually, I, after my school, then I joined uh, art college and I did uh, textile designing. And then I have a post-graduation, I went to Switzerland for my post-graduation courses. And then Swiss people were there also in Pakistan to train us. And um, we just uh, we did very good for promote our export from our Pakistan. So that's why we're doing it just like a very primitive method so we can export that. So we used to do scarves or cushions. How long have you been taking photos? I've been taking photos since I was like 10 years old. Started shooting skate photos like uh, three, four years ago. It doesn't look that hard, but it's really, really hard. You got boards flying at your face. You got to be perfect. I mean, literally perfect within a fraction of a second on the moment. You got to like predict where the person's going to be and set up your lights for a subject that isn't even there yet. And sometimes you got to run up with 
a light stand, set it up real quick, and like snap a photo real fast and run away before a security guard or cop comes after you. Uh, from the skate photos, because it's the same kind of lighting as fashion photography, it was kind of easy to branch into that. And I really like doing that because you can kind of like create whatever you want and like just it's a complete vision out of your head and you can just make it come alive. I mean, with skating, you still have to show what the trick is and you have to like get a right angle so you can see the dude's face. You don't want to shoot his ass. Working on trying to get some stuff in, uh, in the big name magazines, but it's really, really hard to get into. Even if I were to like go and shoot something of a pro, chances are a photographer from the mag would come back and probably retake my photo, kind of just, you know, step on you. But that's the, like the nature of the game. It's really hard to get your like foot in the door. I would like to do more with it. I mean, like I don't think I'm ever going to be satisfied with what I'm doing. I just like, once I reach a certain level where I thought I wanted to be, I'm like, uh, all right. Gotta go higher, wanna do more.